Hey everyone, Steve with Off Grid 48 again. Here at the start of another project up at the cabin. This is for our forklift battery reconditioning. So what I'm doing is I'm pulling the battery from the cabin. I'm loading it up on the trailer and I'm taking it into town to have it reconditioned. So this is a, a major project and I've been kind of putting it off. We've had the battery in service now for about seven years. It's worked out well. Uh, we bought it new. It's a 48 volt uh, battery, about 1600 amps, uh, 20 amp hours. Uh, we bought it new for about 5,000 and it's worked well, but I haven't, I wasn't very good about uh, battery maintenance as far as charging schedules and water levels and such like that. And since we're not up at the cabin all the time, I only had a couple solar panels that plugged in to keep it on a trickle charge. And I learned over the years that that really wasn't the way to do a battery that size really needs to have a lot of amperage to keep it topped off. And so over time the battery basically was, you know, uh, getting weaker and weaker and uh, the last year it wouldn't even hold a charge overnight. So uh, earlier this year I charged, tried a, uh, a chemical battery reconditioning on it from a company called Battery Chem. Uh, and it worked uh, reasonably well. Actually, I tried it on some 12 volt batteries and I was able to recondition uh, seven out of the eight batteries that I tried it on. On the forklift battery, um, it's basically, it helped it a lot, but what I discovered during the process was that I had two dead cells. So even though I was able to get it back in service, you can't restore the dead cell, so I wasn't able to do that. Uh, so I decided that uh, I needed to take it in to get it reconditioned. The problem with the uh, battery is it's so big, and one of the major downsides of a forklift battery is just trying to move it. This battery uh, is about 40 inches by 40 inches by 36 inches tall, and it weighs close to 4,000 pounds, so moving it is a big issue. But I took that into consideration when I actually put it in place. I actually designed the cabin around where this battery was going to be. So what I did in the cabin is, uh, you can see I've got the garage down downstairs so that I could actually bring the battery in. And I made an equipment room at the, in the garage. And behind that wall is actually my equipment room. And I made an opening so that I could slide the battery in and out on a pallet jack. Um, so that design worked out really well. Everything behind that wall is well insulated. That's where I've got a water tank back there. I've got uh, uh, the inverter, the solar charger, other electronics back there. So this is the first time that I've actually attempted to move it out. But I've been reluctant to, to do this just because of moving this battery is such a, a, a big deal. Now I've got a pallet jack, so moving it out of the space is not a problem. But then getting it up on the trailer is a problem. So the battery weighs just under 4,000 pounds. And so logistically it was a problem to go run a forklift, load the battery, take the battery in, bring the forklift back, and you know, logistically and cost it was a problem. So I've been trying to figure out ways of getting that battery loaded up on the trailer. I tried just putting it up with a winch and going up a ramp and I couldn't really make it happen with that. So what I ended up coming up with was um, this pallet stacker. This is the newest addition to my shop and um, basically they call these pallet stackers uh, poor man's forklift. So it's a manual jack and it can raise up I think to about 82 inches on this one and I bought this so that I could lift heavy equipment up onto a, a truck or trailer for loading. Now the th concern I had with this uh, pallet jack was it's only rated to 3300 pounds my battery is actually about 3850 so I thought I just need it to work long enough so I can get it up on the trailer and uh, I managed to do that yesterday but it's probably pushing the but I'm able to I was able to move it and get it up on the trailer so you can see out here I've got it actually loaded on the trailer and I've got it loaded on with a generator too I've got a generator I'm going to take into town to get service so I've got the battery loaded I've got to secure it here uh, before I head to town, but it's up there. It's loaded. No worse for wear. You can see it's uh, over the years the the box has gotten deterioration in the pallet. I'm going to need a new pallet to put it on. 
uh, but it's on the pallet jack so I just need to slide it to the back of the trailer when I take it to the uh, place to have it reconditioned and they can unload it with the forklift um, so and that whole process should cost me under a thousand bucks once I get it in so um, basically once I get this battery back uh, and with a proper uh, maintenance schedule it should last me another 10 or 15 years and now last year one of the other projects that I did is we put in the solar array so now I've got a proper solar array to keep this battery charged so I could got all the power I need to put on that battery to keep it keep it charged up so I'm I'm pretty excited that we'll finally get this battery in place to do what it was intended to do um, forklift batteries are great for off-grid you know they they say it's kind of the crown jewel of an off-grid system if you're looking at building your own system when you're looking at batteries you just can't compete uh, a forklift battery new or used is going to provide is going to be so much more cost effective than any other battery that you can get now you got the maintenance issues they use a little bit more water and obviously the size and the weight is going to be an issue for you to take into consideration but if you can work around that and make sure that you've got uh, easily accessible to get that battery in and out if you ever need to that battery is going to serve you well this 1600 amp battery is going to run and get me through probably in the winter time when the snow covers the panels I expect this battery is going to last for a week to two weeks uh, with no uh, power coming in so it's going to be a real benefit uh, as we build out our system here so I'll keep you posted when I get the battery back and we're reinstalling it and hooking it up and going from there. In the meantime, one of the other things I did, so I'm not without power. Even though I pulled this battery, one of the projects I did last year, I put in a backup battery bank. So I've got a little uh, 400 amp uh, backup battery bank that we're running off of and I just put a, an AB switch in there. So all I had to do was flip the switch over to the other battery bank, pull this out, and my system's no wiser. We still got plenty of power here and then I'll just switch it back over when we put it in place. Alrighty, so that's about it for now. So I'll keep you posted when we get the battery back and see how everything goes. All right, talk to you later. Hey everyone, we're back at the cabin. So continuing on our project to get the forklift battery restored. Um, I took it to town, had it restored and now we're in the process of bringing it back to the cabin. I need to get it unloaded and then put back in service. So uh, getting it on the trailer and getting it off the trailer are probably the two hardest parts of this project. I think that the uh, pallet jack is going to be a lifesaver in all of this. So the, the actual uh, forklift battery uh, was a little bit better than I expected. They only ended up uh, having to replace one cell. Uh, it cost about 200 bucks, and then there was some service, uh, replace some fluids and clean it up. Uh, but the battery is in pretty good shape, and the total bill was about a little over 600 bucks. So uh, that was much less than I was expecting, considering this battery is a uh, thousand amp hours at uh, six hours and 1600 amps at 20 hours, which is going to is a lot of power. So I've got it here on the trailer, ready to go. I'm going to move it forward. To the back of the trailer with this pallet jack and then move it to where the pallet stacker is going to pick it up. Now last time that I did this the battery is so heavy the battery weighs about 3,850 pounds it basically uh, tilted the end of the trailer so this time I put a I put a jack under the back of the trailer there to hold it up so when I move that battery back here it's not going to tilt the trailer up and then I've got the pallet stacker in place and uh, I think what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some support straps when I put it on last time because when I was loading it up last time it was bending the forks pretty good from the weight so I'm going to try to put some straps on it to kind of take off some of that uh, extra weight and see if we can get it going so getting ready to move the battery and load it on the pallet stacker and uh, we'll see how it goes